Welcome to Ubico. This video in the How To series shows the programming of multiple YubiKeys. Volume orders of YubiKeys are now delivered in custom trays holding 50 YubiKeys each, which neatly stack together, and these are vacuum packed for shipping. This is a pack of 100 YubiKeys, two trays of 50. I will open the packaging and take out the two trays of keys together with a cover tray. I can carefully turn the trays over to show the reverse. This can now be exposed for screen printing or laser etching a whole tray in a single operation. I have already downloaded the YubiKey multi-device programming utility from yubico.com, which I now run. I first need to configure the program to use the 10 USB ports I have connected to my PC. To do this, first make sure no YubiKeys are present, and then open the system menu and select the Enumerate Ports option. I now need to carefully insert any YubiKey into each USB port I want to use in the order I want to program my keys. I need to wait for Windows to recognize the YubiKey, and this may take a few seconds. Once the program acknowledges the USB port, I can remove the YubiKey and proceed to the next port. I only need to do this once, as the configuration will be remembered by the program. I'm actually using standard, off-the-shelf, $25 USB hubs. Back in the system menu, deselect the enumerate ports menu item, and the program confirms I have selected 10 USB ports for programming. I'm actually using two 5-port hubs mounted on a block, as this is convenient for programming a row of 10 YubiKeys at a time. However, the program is flexible and you can use any USB ports your system can support. Next, I need to set the parameters for programming. From the System menu, select the Settings option. As I'm going to be using the Yubico validation software, I select Yubico OTP with 12-digit public ID in the Configuration Options group. For full details on all the options, please refer to the program documentation on yubico.com. I have been allocated the customer prefix of 99. You can apply for your own prefix at yubico.com. For this set, I am going to start programming at serial number 0. The program will automatically increment this for each successfully configured key. In the Mode of Operation group, I am going to select Don't Overwrite Existing Configuration for safety. My keys were actually delivered unconfigured. In the Optional Sound Alerts group, I recommend setting sounds for the three events Success, Failure and Device Prog, as this makes programming easier to follow. The final group allows a shell command to be executed, which is useful for printing barcodes and other media. OK, I'm now ready to start programming my YubiKeys. The main page shows I have no YubiKeys in any of the 10 configured USB ports, so I'll insert the first row of 10 keys. Back at the programming utility, I press Auto Run and the program warns me there is already a YubiKey in the first port. That's OK, I want to start immediately, so I click the button. The first set of 10 keys are all programmed. Once programmed, I remove the YubiKey and place it into the spare tray, making sure it goes in the same sequence, and now load the second row of, of 10 YubiKeys. The program configures a YubiKey as soon as it sees it in strict sequence order to minimize holes and confusion. Fast forwarding now to the last row in this tray, I've now programmed all 50 keys. The program maintains statistics showing I've been programming at a rate of about 900 YubiKeys per hour. 
Want to know more? Please go to yubico.com.